What is up guys? My name's the Samian. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? Alright guys, coming up in today's video, we're going to be talking about the horse ranch controversy and Simmer's tweets and concerns, as well as some SimGuru statements that have been made. Now, at the end, we are going to be covering up some speculations and seeing what's going on as far as cats and dogs and refreshes and talking about the vet career. Now, with that being said, I did want to mention that I am going to be doing an LP very, very soon. It is in the works, so I've heard all of your responses and it's coming, guys. I would say give me a couple of weeks and it probably won't be announced until after the expansion pack release. Speaking of releases of expansion packs, I am doing a giveaway and there will be two winners for the new Horse Ranch expansion pack. All you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and yes, it's for PC and console, as well as follow me on Twitter or TikTok. Now with that being said, we are going to be talking about The Sims and ever since the latest drop of when they made the Horse Ranch game pack trailer. Now that is a mouthful to say, but many people did have their controversies and set to Twitter to announce that they felt like this should have been a game pack because it didn't involve anything more than just horses. Now, I'm going to get into a couple of similar sweetie concerns and you're always able to, of course, leave comments down below to state your opinions as well. Natty took the Twitter to say, Horse Ranch is giving us fully developed life state, new world of three neighborhoods, two new skills with new gameplay, mini goats and sheep, a new lot type, a new dance, employed lore, replacement, and you guys want more? Ashley took the Twitter to say, thank you. Like, people are feel, feel free to spend their money how they please. If they don't think it's worth their money, that's fine, but acting like horses aren't notoriously hard to animate. Someone named my Miss Jolly said, the trailer was the exact same thing we've seen with the live stream and we say we have another live stream that will show that we was supposed to see in the trailer it's giving there really isn't any more gameplay to show simhive also took to twitter to say so horses look nice they definitely spent a lot of their resources for making those horses animations because they look flawless but apart from that i don't want to say it but it should have been a game pack and many people feel this way including myself but again i'm very open to hear your opinions as well because again everybody has different opinions when it comes down to the expansion pack now, someone else by the name of Bella said, This gives me the same vibe as cats and dogs. Horses, just because of how much animation work goes into them, would never be a game pack. With the competition and scenic routes, this is looking to be a cross between Snowy Escape and cats and dogs. And ooh, I would love to hear your opinions on that. Someone by the name of Natty said, The argument doesn't actually make sense. They already had the animation, so it's cheap to throw the extra stuff in. The money went to the horses they threw the extra stuff in to hopefully keep people from complaining about only getting horses, but they plan clearly failed. Now, that is very interesting, and I'm personally going to say my thoughts and opinions towards the end, but someone by the name of Gala Lushik, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, please let me know how to correctly pronounce it, but said, people ask for only horses, they just took it as an opportunity to sell them with stuff that is not really well made and already exists in the game and think it could be sold for double now. At this point, they can sell you anything and people will buy it. Now, with that being said, I do want to state my thoughts and opinions on this whole controversy and topic and situation. Now, I personally feel that, yes, the, all Although we do have animations with the horses and they look absolutely incredible again if you go back and watch some of my reviews I'm actually excited specifically for the horses that's one of the very main reasons I'm even getting this pack is specifically for the horses in general and I feel like they knew that this was gonna happen now because people are always are already like okay you know what we don't want any look we've been wanting horses for a very long time and they knew that that was gonna sell regardless of how people felt with anything else added into the game regardless if there was empty gameplay they knew that they were still gonna make money money off of horses which is why they even made it an expansion pack to begin with because with that being said for that make it a game pack but because they know people's process and thought process on like oh my gosh I really want horses I really really want them let me just go ahead and make it a make it an expansion pack and then we can even get more of that now that now of course I don't think that really came from the sim gurus when it came down to like announcing the prices I think it came down to EA we all know that EA is very money hungry when it comes down to stuff and they focuses way more on quantity versus quality and for that they go you know what people really want horses that bad okay well let's charge $40 instead of $20 not only can we double the prices and double our income but people are still gonna buy it no matter how hard they complain because they've been wanting horses for a very long time it's the same thing with other things I just feel like they did this with cats and dogs because I feel like cats and dogs should have been base game that's my personal opinion but we're gonna get in that get into that in just a little bit but with that being said I would love to know your thoughts and opinions even if you completely disagree with me me, again you're always welcome to state your thoughts and opinions now with that whole controversy going on over on Twitter and people are still tweeting about this as of right now we are gonna get into a sim guru statement made by sim guru ninja who took to Twitter to announce his concerns he did say devs are insert hurtful statement why aren't you personally doing any any answering this thing right now the where's Waldo of sim guru comment sections and with a clown emoji many people felt some kind of way about this some people felt on edge and many people felt like he was mocking the basically the emptiness of the the gameplay 
Now, with that being said, I don't think that was his intentions. I think he was just seriously stating that sim gurus have feelings, and it when they work really hard on something, it kind of sucks that people have, like, backlash towards it. My personal opinion is, to be honest, I do not... Oh, I, I don't condone bullying. I don't condone harassment. I do con I do feel that they should, I'm trying to word this correctly, but I do feel like they should be held accountable for their actions. They say things and do things and expect nothing that is going to happen in return because, of course, they are sim gurus. But in my personal opinion, I do feel like they should be held accountable for what is coming out and what has been releasing. You are designers. We are going to talk about what we how we feel about the game. You are, you know, production designers. You are in charge of producing. You are in charge of the items that we're going to get. You are in charge of all these sim gurus have different different basically different career paths on exactly what they're focusing on when it comes down to ea and especially when it comes down to the sims 4 franchise so with that being said how much accountability is too much you see what i'm saying i don't know you guys comment down below how you how you guys feel i just feel like we should be holding them accountable because they say certain things they do certain things and then walk away with their hands behind their backs and saying like oh, hey why are you guys talking so much mess about me it's because like who else are we supposed to talk to when you guys talk back to us who else are we supposed to respond to right sim direct doesn't respond to us they they don't only re they only respond to us when their back is against the wall right so we're gonna naturally go to the sim gurus then when the sim gurus talk back to us they say certain things that they know would get the community arising even if it is defending themselves because i do agree with sim gurus being able to we can tweet anything how we want at them why not tweet anything back but it's because they're behind a company so when you say certain things behind this people are gonna take that as like oh look what the company just said not like oh this is what sim you guys are the face of the C the sim group franchise now again they did state that hey we didn't choose to be sim we we chose i mean we chose to be sim gurus so we're not hiding behind ea we chose to do this so you guys already chose to be sim gurus and talk about the game that's fine but also let's talk about the problems and situations where things occur i feel like they get mad when people bring up and state opinions other than the positive positivity of the packs and it's just like no you guys are gonna you guys chose to be sim gurus right you chose it yourselves so now not only are you gonna get the good but you're also gonna get the bad that comes with it and people are gonna have opinions you're you're putting this out for 70 million million plus players people are going to have opinions on what is going on with the game that's my personal opinion and that's my take on it if you guys disagree with me please let me know down below in the comments again i'm welcome to all opinions and i would love to hear yours now with that being said we are going to get into the very next topic and that is going to be cats and dogs now with cats and dogs being released a couple of years ago many people did feel that it should have been involved when it came down to the horse ranch pack with cross compatibility when it came down to vets many people thought that just be so because we now have horses why not add that into the vet career and being able to bring our horses in case they get sick and how does that process really work now hopefully they do cover this in the live stream and which i'm going to tackle a little bit later but i do feel like that should have been a brand new career now we do know that there's another career coming in when it comes down to the horse ranch pack and they already stated that in the gameplay trailer and basically it's people coming around and helping out with the horses and just all all over the yard work and things like that but i really feel like there should be cross compatibility when it comes down to cats and dogs again i'm always curious to hear your opinions of course many simmers took to twitter to announce their concerns on the update and what could happen with cats and dogs especially for a refresh in the making and someone saying update the vet career with cross pack compatibility for col and of course horse ranch animals create new small pets such as snakes birds tarantulas ant farms and lizards allow kids to walk dogs and swivel areas in brindleton bay now speaking of brindleton bay many people had opinions when it came down to growing together and the world looked very very similar with that controversy being said we did have milestone social compatibility family dynamics coming with growing together but many people felt that even though they had all of this together it should have been base game when it came down to all the new ui that was allowed when it came down to that now many people felt like this was just a repeat when it came down to the horse ranch expansion pack because of the emptiness that the same way the growing together brought the horse ranch expansion pack trailer brought and of course they did say oh just wait till the live stream wait till the live stream when we got the growing together live stream even then they still didn't cover everything and it felt like it was very rushed with that being said many people are wondering will it be a repeat when it comes down to the horse ranch expansion pack trailer are they going to announce anything are they going to say anything or are they just going to only cover horse the Sims has not stated anything as of right now and 
And of course, Sim Group Popcorn has unfortunately hasn't said anything since her latest statement, stating, thank you for the enthusiasm and criticism on the trailer. Everyone has a right to their opinion, and I completely understand. We can't get better without feedback and criticism for the folks we made it for. It won't be for everyone, but I really hope you'll give us a chance. And I really I really support it the way she came out across this. And also, Sim Guru Bat has not said anything as well since the release, and he also worked on the Horse Ranch trailer. With that being said, I do want to wrap this up by stating don't forget about my giveaway and there will be two winners for the new horse ranch expansion pack subscribe to my youtube channel as well as follow me on twitter and tiktok yes it is available for pc and console now with all that being said i am curious to hear your opinions on the whole thing especially when it comes down to compatibility with different packs and how do you guys feel about cats and dogs towards the vet career as well as what are your thoughts towards tim guru ninja stating that tweet about the inserts on harmful comments when it comes down to new pack packs that are being released Again, I'm always welcome to hear your opinions, even if you don't, even if you disagree with mine, guys, I'm not the kind of channel that will literally block you for disagreeing with me. Again, as long as we keep it respectful in the comments, you are more than welcome to announce your concerns and state your opinions when it comes down to anything about The Sims 4. That's what this channel's all about. That's why I made this channel. And to thank it all, top it all off, I want to thank you guys so much. We are so close to 20k subscribers. And with that being said, even if you shared my video in some kind of way, you're a silent viewer, you, you you watch my videos, you comment, you leave a like, which truly does help out my channel. Uh, you still support me in some kind of way, and for that, I thank you. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.